Just a couple shards left. The quarry's gotta have one, right? Yeah, maybe up here doesn't get any, and it's just down here. I feel like there's two shards left. Imagine everything you'd need to build a city like Ceylandia. It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes Burstone Quarry. The Ura tunnels beneath the quarry must have softened the blow from the calamity. We bought the whole place from the Ura on the cheap. Same goes for its natives. Rattletails. They're cute. I like Rattletails. They're kind of one of my favorites. Rattletails ain't the worst of it either, but more about that in a little bit. See, this is what they used to do. Is buying stuff, and I think as long as you leave them alone, they leave. The quarry came with a lifetime supply of wind bags. Wind bags smaller than the naked eye can see are nesting in those rocks. Not only are these rocks a source of life, we found that the oldest ones remember things. But the oldest wind bags? That would make sense. Old humans remember things. They're recording everything. All the time. Taking it all in. No wonder all those beasts were drawn to the quarry. The rocks were calling them. Keeping the quarry free from pests turned out to be a problem. Rattletails kept tunneling in the snack on windbags. Without those windbags, the quarry might not have its special qualities. Like what? Even stink eyes started taking root in here. The quarry <laughs> ain't exactly up to safety standards no more. Because I keep, keep falling off. Now why would the Ura sell off such a fascinating place? The Ura always were a superstitious lot. Might be the gods told of the quarry's bad news. In any case, over. it's fair to say the quarry was a godsend. And if it wasn't over this, which is valuable... Those rocks, all polished to a mirror sheen. Mm. The it largest wasn't over ones, different gods. You know, they each share the same gods. So I don't... Single core could keep the lights on in an entire city district. I don't get it. Why were we warring? I wonder if it won't... Wait, if they tell us at some point, I just forget. The smaller ones, we call them shards. A shard's got a fraction of a core's power. Enough to fuel a voyage to the motherland. Well, 
Well, now the quarry's all dried up. These rocks are much too young to be of use. Too young. I wonder how long it takes for a four to be a four. Remember how I said rattle tails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? Yeah, this thing. That Mofo. honor goes to a beast we took to call him, Sir Lunky. Massive things stomp many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. We never could get stubborn old Lunky to leave the quarry alone. The only thing harder than the rocks in Burstone Quarry is Sir Lunky's head. Then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. Are you all right? It says. Why is there people down here? Oh, probably an Ura. I'm pretty sure the only people who survived are the Uras. It's him. I've come to warn you, he says. Warn me about what, jerk? The Bastion is under siege. Let it fall. You should not go back. Why are you warning me? Because I'm a kid? Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Because my countrymen will. Literally, what am I, what else The am next I going part's to do? hard to talk about, no matter how many times I try. Say what you will about Zolf, but he's a man of his word. His countrymen don't much care for pleasantries, yeah. though. His countrymen are some of my favorite enemies because of how cool and difficult they are to, like, beat up and stuff. Zolf showed him the way here, and here they came to take revenge. They got inside the bastion and shut the door. Kids gotta go in through the back. Should have seen this coming. Felt it in my bones. Possible to see stuff like this coming. You shouldn't beat yourself up just because you couldn't see. Unfortunately, they broke in and they started digging their holes. Something wrong sprung out of those holes and it's eaten away at this place. We tried to stop them, but we needed help. Baby Pecker, he don't make it. That little squirt, he don't make it. Stop killing them! They're just... Somehow, some way, he sends those who are a packing. Problem is, it didn't matter. Zolf's plan worked. We find each other as the dust settles. <laughs> then I tell him why the Ura came. To get us back. For the calamity. It was Ceylandia's master plan to wipe the Ura out. See. But part of that plan backfired, didn't it? If only Zolf knew the whole story. What's the whole story that we decided not to? What were we to think? They must have got her, taken her back to her rightful home. Yeah. 
the shards can put this disease in remission. But there's only one cure. We need to finish what we started. The arsenal's complete, in case we need protection. Now all we need is one last shard. The culture. A still life of old unwanted keepsakes. 17 out of 15? How did that happen? The sanctuary. If we can build, we can rebuild. <sighs> the Ura swooped down from the east. At least now we know the way. Well, this looks kind of pretty. I think there's two more levels. Like one this last one. shard. It's all we need to put this mess behind us. But it could be. And that mother, what a mess it is. The last one. A mess like that could have only been made by hand. Zolf said the calamity failed, and he's right. The Ura stand as living proof of that. At the heart of the calamity was a simple idea. We never wanted to go to war again. Wanted to rule it out. We put a lot of folks against that problem. Scientists, soldiers, spies, even me. We sought solutions far beyond the city. We traveled near as far as the kids going right now. Knives in the city's drawer. Oh, yes, he's dad. With his help, the Mancers devised a way to seal the Ura tunnels shut in a flash. Just like that, every last Ura living in the Tassel terminals will be gone. This discovery was never to be used, they said, except as a last resort. From what I can tell is they didn't want to actually kill all this Ura, they just wanted to trap them? Forever? Which, I mean, kind of sort of makes stupid sense. Like, if you're a complete and utter idiot, it makes sense. I'm not an idiot. But Ven didn't sense. like being manipulated. He had plans of his own. Yeah! No, he sabotaged the Mancer's little science project, set it to blow up in their faces. I think if my daughter was used against me to create a way to destroy... Imagine how Van must have felt when they finally made him pull that trigger. But remember, the Bastion can 
fix everything. We just need that shard. Why do you think that? Why do you think the Bastion can fix everything? Too bad the Ura ain't exactly been willing to collaborate on that front. First things first, though. There's someone we figured needed rescuing. See ya. Yeah. Let's save Zia, please. And Laura save fell Zia. back. No doubt planning the next move. But we knew ours already. Yeah, like I thought. Two more left. My bird is scored to her death. There's something we had to do before going after that last shard. Zia detected. <laughs> I wonder how we detected it. Well, now it's personal, ain't it? Yeah! Heck of fuck yeah! It's personal for him, and it's personal for me. They never saw him coming. Oh yeah, I forgot. I want to destroy these things. Why do I need that? I don't. I absolutely, positively do not. And I refuse. It's dumb and stupid. And you're dumb and stupid for suggesting it. They got their own security and everything. Pretty fancy, even. It's not the time to get reckless. <laughs> He's so done with me. He's like, what are you doing? They've got these conductors that are all what's keeping the place together. You break enough of those things and the Calamity Rocks slink back into the ground. Those rocks are like tumors, the same kind the Ura planted in the Bastion. Well, the Ura must be in a panic right about so now. Pretty. Everything is so pretty! And also this is such... <laughs> this game is really amazing! They even sick their little rattletail pets on the kid. Those rodents are just a bump in the road. Very annoying bump in the road. Did I heal? Nah. Now, every Ura from here to the terminals must know he's in town. Ah, fudge! They're easy targets. 
Most of the Earth's conductors are squared away in the middle of the hollow. Those calamity rocks must be eating that place apart from the inside. Some of them are downright bewildered by what's happening. I mean, the fact that one kid is taking them all out. Maybe they know they've lost this. Lost to a kid. Underestimated us. That is pegged all wrong. Yeah, like no fools. Yes, our people caused the calamity, but here we are trying to fix it. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're the cause of it. Shame the opportunity for civilized discourse is over. Suppose old Zolf should have got to know us better. Maybe I should have trusted him, told him everything I knew. Would you have? I mean, even with you, what you know now, does it change the fact that he is from the end? And so I understand you not trusting him, even though you're right, it would have been better for you. Zulf, the Hura, they have every reason to be angry. Oh, yeah. Beyond angry. Yeah! We are gonna freaking murder them for no other reason besides the fact that we used to have a war. Or we, at one point, we were warring with them. And now we want them dead. And that is not good enough of a reason to want to kill someone. I'm sorry, it's just not. But when this is all over, it'll all be water under the bridge. Really? As the hour grows desperate, the Ura bring out their big guns. There's nothing standing in his way no more. He sees the Tazzle terminals loom large on the horizon. Prosper Bluff this time. 
Ain't nothing for this gal to sing about now. Zia, you weren't kidnapped. No, ma'am. You just had to see what happened to the Ura. That's fine. To your own people. Of course. Of course she decided to return. I mean... You had to see if everything Zolf wrote to you was true. It was, right? This was one of the only traces left of the Ura. I don't need to see what happened to the Ura. I'm trying to undo it, remember? Sure you didn't drop that twangy thing on purpose? Just to see if he'd go after you? Of course we'd go after her, no matter what. Kalani took everything from the Ura, didn't he? Besides the world. They lost everything, didn't they? But they just keep on fighting like that's gonna bring it all back. Okay, I think Once there's... the kid gets that last shard from Zolf, it'll all be over. Yeah, I think this is the last one. Yeah. This is the last one, and it is a doozy of a last one. Surprised I finished this whole game in one sitting. Oh well, it's oh, I love this game so much. It's I oh, can't hear him at all anymore. He's too far away. So are we telepathy? But he'll be all right. Got his lifelong friend to keep him company. He's talking about my hammer. The calamity hit the Tazzle Terminal's hardest of all. Doesn't seem too bad. You know why Zolf went back there. The place was his home. All his old friends and family were there. Taken by the calamity. Zolf must be there all alone, just waiting. You know what's funny? There's not much left to do here in the Bastion, I'm afraid. So why not tell each other stories to pass the time, right? Years out of all, and they couldn't have hired a ten-year-old. That'd be silly. So, I mean, really, how young can I be? But Zia, there's another reason I've been telling you all this. There's something I want you to understand. When the kid brings back that shard, the bastion will be complete. This disease the Earth planted here will go away. Solve everything. 
everything, right? What happens to Zulf will no longer matter. Oh yeah, now I remember the plot. Ceylandia will be whole again. Everything will be back to normal. Everyone will be all right. Problem is, we'll all be gone. really done gone but oh we're not gonna die it's more like we'll all of this to... will just stop things will go back to the way they used to be that's the power of the bastion This whole place is a living record of the times before the Calamity. The way things were before this story. Good times, right? You follow me? Just You'll be your old self again. Big old restart button. Think of all those times that didn't go your way. Dead, you don't. I like how they wait for me to get up before attacking. That's very kind of them. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Nope. <laughs> I almost died. Look. There's something else. Confession. How come I know so much about the Bastion? Because you made it? Right? I mean, that's normally the excuse. Well, I designed the place, but that's beside the point. Ah, stop that! Sorry. Again, I keep clicking out of the game. And I... <sighs> There's one problem with a place that sets things back to a bygone time. You can't test it.
So you're probably wondering if the calamity happened already. What's, What's to stop it from happening again? Basically. After the Bastion does its thing. That's what I'm wondering. Literally nothing, right? Because when does it set us back to? How far before the calamity started? Gosh. The answer is... I don't know. You're wondering if there ain't some other way out of this mess. It's alright. I can tell. But why would you even want another way? Unless, unless you wanted to stay here with us. Sweet and all, but I don't know if I can stick around. Why not? Why can't you stick around, dude? That's rude. This Zia just said she wanted to be best friends with us forever. The weight of the calamity. It's on our shoulders. We can't just let it go. I really like this weapon because it's hilarious. Bastion does have another function. Strictly speaking, if ever the monument blew out, and we couldn't repair it, we could still evacuate. First, we'd round up as many folks as we could carry. Next, we detonate the cores, and we take off away from here. Look at my legs. Of course, that would mean no going back. Ever. But then again, that way, all of us could leave the city together. You know, Zolf and his countrymen won't be giving up that shard without a fight, don't you?
First off, this ain't a personal matter. Or take Zulf, be a cold, heartless person, or, you know, how about a friend person who was just really peeved? I mean, like, his heart was broken. He stayed in Celandia because he loves Celandia. And, and then Celandia turned on his country people. Like, I'd be pissed too. And then he recognized that it wasn't our fault. I mean, it was Rolf's the stranger dude's fault, but it wasn't our fault, so he tried to help me and Zia. Why on earth wouldn't I take him with me? He's just doing the best he can, right? Of course I'm taking him. <laughs> like, that's a question? <laughs> I can see it now. The kid in one corner, and Zolf in the other. Ain't much of a fight. Don't you worry, though. Once the Bastion's restored, it'll all be all right. I mean, I have to get home in time to help you guys. Although, after talking it over like this, guess I'm beginning to have my doubts. Probably dealt with Zolf by now. Sweet home. It reminds me of myself when I was his age. I ever tell you about those days? No. The scene just hurts my heart. Hey, kid. Get up, kid. Come on, that ain't funny. I say get up. That's more like it. Now, set that shard into the monument there. Then we'll talk. The Bastion. It's finally finished. Now, 
There's something I want you to see. Welcome to the heart of the Bastion. I ain't one for long goodbyes, so here's the deal. Zia and I figure you done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. Good to see you. You can undo the calamity here and now. Go on, kid. And before I forget, thank you. Always wondered what the motherland was like. Not that it matters anymore. I wonder what the motherland is. Zolf only brought more ruin to the Ura. No wonder they didn't take kindly to him. Yeah, but like... Poor him, he didn't do it on purpose? You've got one thing left to do, so you hang on to that badge. Besides, you earned it. Thank you. I think I did. The windbags of the beasts of the wild Uru, they fought so far to stop this moment. Which is Don't let anything you've done get to you. You could save all those creatures here and now. I didn't save the pecker. It died protecting us. It just makes you really sad. You made it! See, she has a voice at the very end. That just makes me so happy. <laughs> so, let's see. You can either prevent the calamity, or stick around with me and Rex. I'd hate to be in your shoes. If you could go anywhere you wanted, where would you go? If I could be any place I wanted, I'd stay right here. We could go anywhere in the world. Yeah, that sounds awesome. The zone people turned on him when he has planned to destroy the Bastion. Zolf Fighter. tried to talk me into joining him. I tried to talk him out of it. I guess we both failed. Yeah. It would have been hard not to. They were very brave, but there was nothing left for them but friends. When I finally found my people, I told them we could help. They just took me for a traitor. Glad you showed up. Isn't there some moment in your life you wish you could go back to? Any moment I'd want to live again happened after the calamity. Not before. The moment we met? Hanging out, talking, being friends. Okay. So, this is the big decision of the game. This is probably the... Yeah, this... I... It's basically... Do you want to do a... Uh save plus game which is what this was what i experienced just now because the last time i beat the game that's what i did it saves over your experience your money everything you did so on and so forth it helps you um beat the game more easier get achievements not yada 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 and then this one ends everything And I end the cycle. And I think I'm going to do that this time around just because I really want to see what happens. I mean, I've read it, but read it, reading it and seeing it are completely different things. So I'm going to do this one right now. Oh, mother. And here I figured you'd had enough of me by now. could have undone the calamity itself, but instead you want to stay in a world like this. I gotta admit, kid, I ain't yet put much thought in that idea, but carrying on with you here. We can't go back no more, but I suppose we could go wherever we please. And if anyone left out there, I sure would like to see the look on their faces when we dock this thing right on that doorstep. 
getting ahead of myself, though. I'm gonna need a first mate. What do you say? But on Wednesday, I'm planning on doing a 12 hour stream of Mass Effect. And I'm planning on doing a 12 hour stream every Wednesday until I finish Mass Effect. All three games of Mass Effect. I'm thinking of doing Renegade Run, since I've never actually done it, even though I call myself Renegade Warden. <laughs> and then after I know what those, I'm thinking of doing um, more 12 hour streams every Wednesday playing Dragon Age. Uh, All of them to our Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to play Dragon Age on Inquisition here due to all the side quests and how crashy it can be and unreliable and stuff like that. So pretty. Well, they're so happy. Going for them in the other way. The other version. I'm glad I chose this one. I wonder if the other singer singer is Zolf, supposed to be Zolf from Rusk or something. Or maybe it's me. I just realized I forgot to tell Tumblr that I uh, was streaming today. Oh well. Maybe I should try doing the whole playthrough of this with different weapons, but I love my arrows and hammer. They're my favorite. They're easiest to use. What I want done. Oh, what I want. Look at how many um how long the credits are. I don't normally sit through credits. But I felt like I should through this, because I'm streaming it, and therefore I should allow all the credits to show. presence for all the different branches, duh. President Martin Trumpy. Ooh, McGinnis. Like Guinness World Records or Guinness the Beer? <laughs> Probably neither. Probably definitely neither. They were playing Zia's song for right now, like just over and over again. <laughs> ah, they're 
you so much credits! It's only been going on for like three minutes. Oh well. You can wait. Oh! Are they over now? I wonder if they'll have a cutscene after the credits, like a Marvel film. <laughs> no, they won't, but... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of it, even though I didn't really talk as much as I probably should have for a Let's Play. Oh well, I was concentrating. And who can say that they finished two games in one playthrough? Probably a ton of people, especially since the first game was only 30 minutes. Oh well. Okay, so I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Have a gorgeous day. Can't wait. It'll be fun. Bye. Come on. So I, I am unsure um, how immediate the turn off of this is. Oh well. I'll see you guys one day in the far future. Okay, Wednesday, I already said that. Oh well, who cares? Bye. Bye. Enjoyed that one, see more for you. Just hit subscribe. Either way, I hope you have a gorgeous day.